the French Air Force is facing a critical decision regarding its aging fleet of E-3F AWACS aircraft. A recent parliamentary report, published on November 11, 2024, underscores the urgent need for modernization, warning that maintaining the current E-3F fleet until 2035 could be detrimental to France's defense capabilities. The report highlights that the cost of repairs and maintenance for these aging aircraft will continue to increase, and their operational readiness could suffer. Experts are now calling for a replacement program to be launched by 2025 as part of the upcoming military budget review. The E-3F AWACS, based on the Boeing 707, has been a vital part of France's air defense for many years. Equipped with Northrop Grumman's and slash APY-1-2 radar system, it provides comprehensive surveillance with 360-degree coverage, tracking airborne threats up to 400 kilometers away and maritime targets even farther. Its radar dome, which rotates every 10 seconds, allows it to scan continuously, distinguishing fast-moving aircraft from slow-moving ground clutter. The E-3F is also equipped with advanced data links, including Link 16, enabling real-time communication with NATO and Allied forces, crucial for modern network-centric warfare. However, as the years pass, maintaining the E-3F becomes increasingly costly and challenging. The platform is showing signs of age, and its ability to keep up with evolving threats is increasingly questioned. As a result, the French government is considering several potential replacements. One of the leading contenders is the Saab Global I, a multi-role airborne early warning and control system based on the Bombardier Global 6000 business jet. With advanced radar and sensor technologies, the Global I offers an extended range of surveillance and can operate across air, land and sea domains. Countries like the United Arab Emirates and Sweden have already adopted this platform, recognizing its effectiveness in modern defense operations. Another potential replacement is the Boeing E-7A Wedgetail, a highly advanced AWNC platform already in use by several NATO allies, including the United Kingdom and the United States. The E-7A offers sophisticated radar systems, based on the Australian-made 737, and is known for its reliability and operational efficiency, making it a strong candidate for France's modernization needs. The growing threats to global security, combined with the aging of the E-3F fleet, make it clear that France cannot afford to delay the replacement of its AWACS systems. The need for timely action is critical, and the parliamentary report's recommendation to start the replacement program by 2025 is a necessary step toward ensuring that France's air force remains a formidable force in the skies. The decision on which platform to choose will be pivotal not only for the French military, but also for France's role in NATO and global defense operations. With advanced options like the Saab Global I and Boeing E-7A on the table, the future of France's airborne surveillance capabilities looks poised for a significant upgrade. What do you think of France's plans for AWACS modernization? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more defense news updates. Thank you.